Hello everyone, my name is Allison Price with The Infused Life and today I wanna to show you how simple it is to make your own non-toxic antibacterial hand soap. Now, before I show you, I just wanna to touch on a few points really quickly regarding antibacterial sprays and wipes and all those products of the like, okay? They contain a lot of nasty ingredients. Um, thankfully, triclosan has been banned in the United States for the last few years, but prior to that, it was a very common ingredient to find in antibacterial products, but it's also a known endocrine disruptor. Um, it causes immunotoxicity, allergies, organ toxicities, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? And so, as we're using these antibacterial properties and they're filled with these nasty ingredients, sure, they might be killing off all the germs we're trying to get rid of, but they're also killing all of our good bacteria, all of that good microflora that we need that helps to protect us when we are inundated during the certain seasons of, of the year when colds run prominent, germs, cooties, etc. okay? So, we're kind of at it, we're kind of doing ourselves a disservice when we're constantly cleaning things up with these antibacterial products and then allowing ourselves to come into contact with all of that. And an example I used earlier on another video I did was schools. So these educational professionals are doing their best to keep the germs at bay, but then themselves and our children are just constantly coming into contact with all of these chemicals and we're really doing our immune, serve, our immune system a disservice. We're, we're not helping to support it so that we can effectively ward off the germs. Do you follow me? So triclosan may have been banned, but now what companies are using instead is an alternative form of triclosan, which is called triclocarbon. And we find a lot of nasty ingredients in these products like dioxin and chloroform, which get a 10 out of 10 on the toxic rating scale. They should have zero business in any products that we are coming into contact with or putting on ourselves. okay? Another ingredient is synthetic fragrance. If you see the word synthetic fragrance, fragrance on a product, first consider yourself lucky that you see it because a lot of these cleaning products don't even have to tell us everything that's in the ingredient label. But synthetic fragrance is really just an umbrella term for companies being allowed to add in all kinds of synthetic chemicals. One of them being propylene glycol, which is known to cause organ toxicity, developmental issues. And here's the thing, the more we use these products, the more at risk we are. So why let that next time that you go to use that product be the straw that breaks the camel's back? Why wait until you're in a crisis to start making these changes within your environment? Because yes, there are going to be times when you aren't able to avoid them. Maybe you're traveling or you're at work or just wherever where you're out in public where you have no control over that. But in your own environment, you have 100% control of that. So I want to challenge you today to make this one simple change in your home. It is the start to living a less toxic lifestyle, to lower that toxic load. And it's super simple. There should be no excuses. Everybody can do this. So it's foaming hand soap. I want you to get rid of the nasty tulip fields and Hawaiian breeze hand soaps that you have on your counters, or maybe you have one that you purchased because it was advertising how a effective it is with its antibacterial properties and getting rid of germs, but it leaves out the fine print that it's filled with all of these nasty ingredients. So to make your own non-toxic, effective foaming hand soap, you need liquid Castile soap, water, essential oils, and a foaming hand pump. Now, I will link for you some places where you can get foaming hand pumps, but honestly, guys, just go to the dollar store or your local drugstore, grab a soap with a foaming hand pump, bring it home, dump out the toxic junk, clean it out, and there you go. You've got a reusable foaming hand pump. So all you do is you wanna do a ratio of about 50% water, 50% liquid Castile soap. You can go a little bit heavier on the water. It's just gonna depend on the consistency that you like for how soapy and foamy you want your foaming hand soap. So add the water first, because if you add the liquid Castile soap first, then when you add the water, it foams 
pretty good and sometimes it overflows. You also want to leave a little headspace at the top because a lot of the foaming hand pumps have this insert that will go in. So if you take it all the way to the top, it's going to overflow your soap. Now, the fun thing about being able to use essential oils is that you can mix and match aromas for whatever aroma or whatever scents you like. If it's, you know, wintertime and you like cinnamon and clovey aromas, maybe it's summertime, you like citrus and mint, whatever you like. Lately, I've been loving rosemary and lemon together. And you want to do about six to eight drops if you're doing two oils. Do six to eight drops each. Shoot for around 15-ish drops total. And so then I'm just going to put my lid on. And then you're going to give it a good shake so that you can get it all mixed together. And foaming hand soap, non-toxic, super effective, so easy to do. I'm challenging everybody to go do it today. And then put a post up, put it in your Instagram stories, um, tag me in it, show me how you've made this super simple, easy step to reducing the toxic load in your home. Thanks everybody, have a great day.